We're currently in Studio 2 at Willems Bay this time, and there's a bunch of synthesizers there. You may recognize a whole load of them. Profit 5, ooh. CS60, you've got ARP Omni 2, there's a few over there. Just a bunch of classics. And you go around here, past the uh, tape recording setup, and an amazing, lovely mixer. Some equipment with a lot of history uh, that we've been speaking about. Uh, it's really cool. Uh, 2500, what a beauty. We might not have time today because we've got to run over to Cologne to look at this, but ooh, we'll be back, we'll be back. Jewel 2600 setup. Why not, of course. Some lovely Oberheim expanders. We've got Surge, a massive Surge modular synthesizer. It's all original stuff and a VCS3 sitting over here. There's a bunch of stuff, and we've just got to figure out what we're gonna actually make, make the video on. Ooh, oh, I wonder, what should we do today? What should we look at today? Hmm. What do you think What's, about this? What is that? Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, blooming heck. That's a, that's a, that's a rarer one, isn't it? <laughs> it <laughs> oh is. my gosh. Well, yeah, we should do the video on this one. That's blooming awesome. Oh yes. Oh, cool. Right, I guess we'll set up on this. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. Oh yeah. So an EML Simki. When was this? What, what's this? What era, year is this from? Uh, this one is 1976. Something like that. Oh, that's blooming heck. Uh, this. Uh, well, I haven't seen one ever. I think also have the the, the memory uh, the cards for the programs. <coughs> I'll uh, get you oh, that. Oh yeah, please. Like, yeah. So what? What is it? Uh, it's a monophonic synth, but you can stack the voices, so it has 13 voices mm -hmm. on one key, so you can make single finger chords. Um, yeah. It has some sort of, yeah, it isn't after touch, but they call it second touch. Second. It's, a, it's a okay. touch responsive in a way, mm -hmm. so you can modulate or pitch bend. Yeah, yeah. Um, then, yeah, the programming thing is weird as well, isn't it? So, yeah. Oh, well, it's good. we're going to try and figure this out. So, <laughs> have you got the Let's, programming key? Yeah, oh. I'll get it for you. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. Well, I guess when we get some audio coming out of this, we can, can have a go. It's got this really nice punch cards. Herbie Hancock. <laughs> it's a classic. Preset cards. <laughs> so I'm assuming this takes over from the from the front panel. Yeah. yeah. Slop it in. Which way around? Up or down? Uh, up. Yeah. That one? Yeah. Go in. Oh, that's... Click, and then you uh, press. Ah, and then that's taken over? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. Let's get some sound out of it and have a closer look. So the EML Sinky, I must be honest, I don't really know much about it. It's been plonked in front of me and words have been said to me, so hopefully I can relay that. Uh, this is the preset one with the programming card in it. The one before this I had a bunch of yellow artwork on the front of it. But if you look closely at the artwork on this one, you can see that it's actually got, the, uh, the artwork is based on the programmer cards because the programmer cards are these, um, let's find an empty one. So this one's a blank programmer card and it's got all of the uh, no, notes of what you want to be setting the preset for so you've got um, for the tune you've got one two four it's pretty interesting well this is one that has been used this one's uh, uh, labeled as Herbie Hancock so we'll pop this one in so we'll flick it in and then we'll push card reader on which bypasses the panel So that's the Herbie Hancock one. Let's have a flick through some of these. Well, we got filter sweep. Let's see what filter sweep does. So we push it in. That's a quiet one as well. You can flick between them instantaneously as well, which is pretty cool. There's um, a clarinet, if you want to sound like a clarinet-ish. <laughs> so, um, Oh yeah, I forgot, it's got aftertouch. Well, it's sort of aftertouch. We'll talk about that in a little bit. We'll flick through a couple of the other ones. We've got a blank, we've got a mystery. Mystery pins, so we'll just um, push this in. It's pretty funky. So the idea being, I'm assuming, is if you're playing a show and you, you've got different settings for every song, well, you punch these instead of getting all like, oh no, I've got to change it. And the other thing is, uh, I assume, is you can also have two settings in the same song by put, just pushing a button. So, soft for the verse. And then you're like, oh, it's the chorus, let's go hard. Uh, yeah, 
You get the idea. <laughs> a nice look into um, progression in the mid 70s, 1976 uh, until 1981, I think it said it was produced. Um, so the first bit we come up to is this voltage controlled oscillator panel here with the switches on it. So this is uh, based on a divide down chip, like an organ divide down chip, which is different to like a normal monophonic synthesizer because you can actually get 13 kind of uh, divide down oscillators, well outputs from that chip, that oscillator. So if we pl play a C, turn up the... Uh, and we put a minor third in, or maybe let's do a third, let's go happy. And then a seventh, or an octave. And turn up the uh, portamento for that, so they'll all portamento together. Oh. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the, the aftertouch for a sec. Oh! Flick a bunch of them on. Let's get a really dissonant. All of them! <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, yeah, you get, you could just basically make chords with a monophonic synthesizer. It might not be the easiest way of doing it, kind of flicking between majors and minors, because you'd have to... T so we got a we got a major, actually let's go minor, we got a minor. But if you want to flick over to a major to get into another chord progression, you'll have to go... Oh, it's a bit tough actually, because you have to turn it off at the same time. Rick Kurt was mentioning that it would be a cool mod, would be a bit horrific to modify it, but it would be cool mod to add um, a sort of keyboard on top or moment momentary switches so you can sort of add the inversions as you go. So then it would be sort of set up like a chord organ or an omnichord or something like that, but it's still very funky. And an octave. <laughs> That's well funky. Below it, we've got this oscillator control. There's the portamento you've heard already. Oh, I've turned all of the uh, all of the oscillators off. Oh, we got an octave as well. Interesting. Um, so there's this root waveform. So it actually fades between the waveforms. It's not a waveform switch. You're fading between the waveforms. So we've got square wave to a funky thing between a ramp and a square wave. So the whole, all of the, from, from a pulse, and then it goes to ramp. That's pretty nice. Then there's modulation of the oscillator. Obviously, there's a there's a there's an LFO here, so we turn it up and it will start affecting the oscillator. Right now, actually, it's it's set up in a sequenced sample and hold. Go to a more of a sample and hold. <laughs> Get the speed going. then fade out, I guess we'll get them. Bye. Space. Space. That's pretty funky. So that's like a, that's on the ramp. So a sample and hold that's on the ramp uh, oscillator and then there's a triangle one. That's pretty cool. You've got more standard LFOs. Square wave. Ooh, crackly pop. Ooh. 
space sounds. So we've added a bunch of uh, weird chord inversions in there and uh, it's, then you can modulate it at the same time. So that's the modulation oscillation, an oscillator, modulation oscillator. That's the one. Uh, we've got filter control over here. So there's a there's a box that's lined up for the uh, for the voltage controlled filter, multi mode multi mode filter. Um, so you can you can cross fade between low pass, band pass, and high pass. So let's go back to a single note quick with the octave. Look, why not? We'll go for square wave. Turn down. Oh, oh we've got portamento. Well, let's just. Gotta to, got to be used more, it's got to crack it, but it's alright. Turn up the resonance a bit. Uh, uh, fade it to the, let's go low. And fade it between that and the band pass. And high pass. Turn up the resonance. could jump between those That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's just a different way of looking at notes and chords with the switches, of course. What's that? Turn up the decay, try and get it louder. Uh, and then obviously there's an envelope at the end. It looks like to be a ring modulator as well, so let's, let's try the ring modulator on. Just Right, shall we try the ring modulator? There's a button here that says ring. I'm assuming ring. Oh! Well, that's pretty angry. And then, oh, I'm just going to quickly play a bit of that. That's all 13 of the uh, divisions. That's pretty mad. So it also has a kind of rudimentary aftertouch. It's actually called second touch here. It's on the panel. So you're able to add a aftertouch. You have to, the, the, the way it's set up, it feels different on each of the keys, I've got to be honest. So. literally a switch it's not like a push in slowly so you can fiddle her envelope seems to be dead but that's fine And then also you can make it so the second touch does a bend. So you don't have a control over the bend's kind of intensity, but it bends in a musical fashion, so. 
I will turn them. And then we're going to flick on the inversions. Got a noise switch, do even do that. <laughs> oh. Very nice. Well, we've got a show in Cologne in the Mo. We spent most of the time chatting to Hans about the test equipment in uh, Studio One. So we ran out of time around here. So we've had a look at this one because there's plenty of videos on the rest of it. So if you have a look in the description, there's a few links to the videos on the other stuff. And I'd love to have a go on the rest of it. But, you know, we've got to go. We've got to go to Cologne. So seeing a bit EML Symphony, seeing a bit 2500. Really want to play on it, but we'll see in a bit. <laughs> Remember, you can book this place as well. So if you want to play on this or that or record a load of stuff in there, then you just get in touch with Willem Tvey. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs>